Good morning and welcome to this Tuesday morning edition of A Moment in the Word, August the 9th, 2022. As you can see, I'm not in my normal spot. I'm here at my mom's house and I'm in the back room here broadcasting. But today I'm going to be in Galatians chapter 1, verse 15, and it reads as follows. But when God, who has set me apart, even from my mother's womb, and called me through his grace, was pleased. Remember Paul, back in Acts on the Damascus Road? You know, there was a radical change. Remember, he he persecuted Christians. You know, Paul was all about the persecution of, of Christians, but that changed. He saw Jesus. He recognized Jesus. He He came to Jesus when he was called. You know, Paul understood here that nobody earns a, a, a status before God, okay? We don't earn anything. There's nothing that, that we do, and everything is by the grace of God. God did this to him by the grace of God. He did not choose God. God chose him before the foundation of the world, even before the world was 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 here, even while he was in his mother's room before that. Okay. But God chose them. We just answer the call. That's the thing. We need to answer the call. When Jesus is calling you, we need to answer the call. Now, does it mean that, that we're perfect? No, sir. No, ma'am. It does not mean, you know, that at all, you know, but God is drawing us. He's wooing us to him by his grace and by his mercy, because we don't deserve his grace. We don't deserve his mercy. We deserve hell. That's what we deserve. But again, his grace and his mercy, that should make you want to tell everybody about his grace and mercy. And folks, it's never too late. Yes, I believe in deathbed confessions. confessions. Yeah, uh, sure. But it, it, it's never it's never too late. Okay. But Answer the call. We're commanded to come to Jesus. There's nothing we can do. We don't pay money. We don't do this because, oh, we're a good person. I know a lot of good people that give their shirts off their back, but they're not believers. They don't believe in Jesus Christ. You know, you know, like I said yesterday, no one is righteous. No, not one. But I hope you get the point today. If you, if you, you feel the call to Jesus, come to him. Make that change by praying. I spend a time with the Lord in the word of God, every chance that you get, I don't do it enough. I don't pray enough. I don't study the word of God enough. And we can never study it enough. We never arrive. It's a continuous thing and something every single day, Lord, please forgive me for my sins. Cause you know, we have that sin nature, even though we're his bought for a price, we still have that sin nature. But the thing is here, we were set apart before the foundation of the world. Folks, if you have never ever answered the call, if you never ever uh, come to Jesus, Lord, I pray that you do so today, for today is a day of salvation, okay? We, we got to completely, that goes into being born again. You know, you, you got to completely do a turn around and do things differently. And that's something I struggle with every day because, you know, I'm, I'm a, the most imperfect person in the world. And if we were honest with ourselves, we all are, you know, but we got to remember who we are and uh, hope you got the point. Anyways, have a great Tuesday. By the time this gets out, it's going to be noontime. So I was going to say good afternoon. <laughs> have a great rest of the day and I'm going to go enjoy my mama. Love you guys. And we'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye. God bless.